Xavi. Controlling his manner. Messi. Caressing the ball to Iniesta. He has Villa out outside. Oh, plays it inside. Great tackle, but no! He's got a shot by Xavi! This is the first in a series of videos looking at the signature moves of the greatest players in the world. Here we look at and analyse Xavi Hernandez's 360 pirouette. The main reasons why Xavi does this and why it is so effective is threefold. One, possibly most importantly, it allows him to retain possession of the ball. Two, it creates time and space for him so he can pick the right pass. Unlike other midfielders, Xavi is always looking to pass forward and keep the momentum of an attack going. Of course, he does pass the ball backwards sometimes to ensure possession is retained. Another great advantage of the Xavi pirouette is that it allows him to beat and inevitably take out of the game the opposing player who is pressing him and attempting to win the ball. So for example, against Real Madrid here, he drops deep to receive the ball and has a quick look over his shoulder to assess and be aware of the whole situation. He knows once he receives the ball that Benzema will put him under pressure straight away and try and win the ball from him. Once he does receive it, he does have a large area of space in front of him which he could run into. However, he employs the pirouette because he knows that he may lose the ball if he decides to do this. Moreover, the 360 pirouette also allows him to keep the momentum and flow of the move going while also creating time and space so he can pick the right pass. This also helps him fulfil his role as the main conductor of the ball in this Barcelona team. Rather than pass forward straight away from back to front and being direct, it is central to the Barcelona philosophy of tiki-taka and the midfield controlling the game. Messi. Xavi. Dances with defenders. Lionel Messi. It's humiliating for Real Madrid. It's heaven for Barcelona. Here, we have another example, again against Real Madrid. It is a slightly different scenario. Here, Xavi uses the pirouette in the final third, so the main objective is to assist and create a key goal-scoring opportunity. Here, note the numerous glances again, so he has a full understanding of his surroundings. Again, he knows when he receives the ball from Messi, he will be in a one-on-one -on -one situation against Cannavaro, so he could take him on and try and shoot. His second option seems to be a left pass, where there are two Barcelona players against one. However, again, he employs the 360 pirouette because he knows that he may lose the ball by taking on Cannavaro as they are covering Real Madrid players. He also knows that Messi will make a run after passing to him and will be through on goal if he can find him. He therefore commits both Cannavaro and Gago by using the pirouette as well as the third defender who foolishly steps out. This leaves Xavi with a simple pass to an unmarked Messi who is clean through on goal and inevitably scores. Lionel Messi, it's humiliating for Real Madrid. It's heaven for Barcelona.